first time that I've seen uh, the, the Jet Fox on uh, float. Yes, it's actually the only one in the world uh, thus far. This is the prototype and uh, we're doing testing for it and uh, it's been uh, it's been a real good uh, result. Now the original name of this airplane was it was it the Jet Fox GT or was it Jet Fox 97? I remember it was, it was originally Jet Fox 91. 91. And then they modified that uh, and called it the Jet Fox 97 and that was in 1997. And that's uh, virtually the models that we have here now except they've yet again been updated. They've dropped the 97 and now they call it the GT and the Amphib. Okay. Now, this airplane, it's not manufactured here in the United States? No, it's an Italian airplane. Italian design manufactured currently in Italy. Okay. So, how are they getting into the United States? Well, um, we're uh, importing them. We imported them in the past as experimental uh, kit planes, but now these two prototypes have been brought in for certification for light sport. What type of construction is used in the kit? Uh, it's an aluminum structure, uh, both for the wing and the fuselage. The wing is uh, fabric covered with seconite, uh, and the fuselage is covered with fiberglass for aerodynamic uh, efficiency. Now, how long has the actual uh, kit uh, been on the market, and how many of them are up in the flying? Well, uh, they've sold a combination of kits and finished airplanes, and the total is just over 300. So there's quite a few of them. That includes the 91, the 97, and the current versions. Which are basically the same thing. It's just you've been improving on the design over the Exactly years. right, yeah. And of the uh, of the 97s, uh, there's over 60 flying of those. Okay. Now, how many units are currently in the U.S.? Right now, there's just four. We uh, have brought in two of the 97s earlier, and now we have the GT and the Amphib, the new versions. And uh, we've ordered six more, so they'll soon be uh, about 10 of them. When the airplane is uh, here and uh, ready for delivery to the customer, what kind of power are you using to, uh, to get it off the ground? Uh, we've been using the 912S, the 100 horse uh, four cylinder Rotax, and uh, we've been very happy with that engine. It's highly suitable for the, for the Jet Fox. Now, what kind of performance would you be getting out of that? Well, I was surprised because uh, the, the performance was exceptional. I always look at takeoff uh, rate of climb and takeoff roll. Um, we were able to take this aircraft off with two people, very light winds in less than 300 feet. Um, we're climbing at 800 feet per minute, and solo I'm getting 1,000 feet per minute. I was surprised that it did that well with floats and landing gear. And what kind of a cruise speed were you getting out of it? Uh, the brochure says 94, and I, when I'm light, uh, solo in particular, I can cruise it at 100 at 5,500 RPM, which is 80% power. So it easily cruises at 95, and, uh, and in excellent conditions, we can get up around 100 miles for continuous cruise. Now, this being a float plane, it, it must consume a lot of fuel. <laughs> a lot of well, uh, it, it, there again, it's surprising. I'm able to maintain altitude at 4,000 RPM. The fuel burn is relatively low at that setting. I would guess it to be probably about three gallons an hour. Uh, and max cruise, though, just like anybody else, 80 percent on a 100 horse engine, uh, we're burning about five gallons an hour. And what kind of fuel capacity do we have on board? We have 17 gallons, which gives us a three and a half hour endurance or a 300 mile um, range with reserve. Now, what about the control systems? Are we using a standard stick and rudder type of control figure? Yes, uh, we have cables and pulleys, and we also have uh, push rods. Uh, which is which is pretty standard for aircraft. Uh, push rods for the elevator and cables and pulleys for ailerons and, uh, and for the rudder. Now is it a dual control system complete? Yes, we have a stick control here and it is dual controls. It's, uh, this plane has proven itself uh, highly suitable for, as a trainer. So uh, dual controls is very important and we offer that in all of our airplanes. And what kind of throttle arrangement do we have? Uh, the throttle's right here. We have dual throttles. So for, the, for the pilot, you have it in the left hand, which is traditional with a, with a stick. But for the, for the uh, student or for the passenger, we would have it on the right. So we have a throttle on either side here, and uh, depending on which seat you're in, it'll be left, left hand or right hand. Now, what other options? We've got floats on this one. Is there a lot of options available for this, or do you basically have a package that is top of the line when the customer gets it? Well, we have both. I like to offer a package, but uh, the options include a parachute, avionics, primarily the radio and the transponder, um, digital, con digital instrumentation is an option. And then the typical things like two-tone paint, metallic paint, upgraded interiors. But, uh, but we like to offer a good basic plane that has everything that you really need. For example, electric flaps is standard, the hydraulic brakes, um, pitch trim, things like that. So that uh, you really, you know, 
Well, I don't like to offer something that you kind of have to have in a sense to make everything work right and then offer that as an option. I like that to be included. Now, with the airplane coming in from Italy, what type of delay are we looking at from when someone places an order to actually having an airplane ready to uh, take off? In the past, uh, that has been a problem. The delays were, were actually several months and, and approaching a year. But uh, the company has just entered with uh, some fi uh, financiers. Uh, they're putting up a $10 million factory, and they hope to be producing 20 a year uh, in about six months from now. And I'm sorry, 20 a month. So they're greatly increasing their production from what was four a month, currently it's six a month, and they hope to be doing 20 a month in the near future.